The Olympic torch is one of the most iconic symbols in the history of sports. On today's episode of Feature, we will be looking at how much impact and significance the torch has on the Olympics. Greek actress Katrina Lecho lights the real 2016 torch in Greece and it is handed to the first torch bearer, old medal winning Greek gymnast Eleftrios Petronias, before beginning its six day relay across the country. For the 31st Summer Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. This is done in typical Greek style, which is the birthplace of the Olympics. The torch is used to pass the flame from one bearer to another during the relay and the flame's final stop is the opening ceremony at the Maracana Stadium where the Olympic cauldron is lit, signalling the start of the Games. Over 95 days, about 12,000 people take part in the real 2016 torch relay. Some have the tax of carrying the Olympic flame across Brazil, thereby involving the entire country in the atmosphere of the Games. In Brazil, the relay route passes through the five regions of the country. Lasting 95 days, the relay will take the Olympic flame within the reach of 90% of the population, visiting more than 300 cities and towns. Now let's take a look at what the various parts of the torch represent. The sky. The highest part of the Olympic torch is represented by the sun, which like Brazilians, shines and illuminates wherever it passes. Its color is golden, representing the ultimate achievement at the Games. The mountains. Rio's natural beauty is expressed in the green curves of its hills and valleys. Blue, organic and fluid ripples represents the sea, always present in the landscapes of Brazil and Rio. The ground. Our land, which is part of our history, represented by the Copacabana Promenade, the most famous piece of ground in Rio. Brazil football legend Pele was previously chosen to light the cauldron of the Olympic touch at the opening ceremony, but the three-time World Cup winner turned it down, saying, I'm not in physical condition to take part in the opening ceremony. It is the first time the Games have been held in South America, but the touch lighting ceremony comes during uncertain times for Brazil. President Dilma Rousseff faces the possibility of an impeachment trial and the dangers of Zika virus still looms Thomas Batch, president of the International Olympic Committee, said in his speech at the torch lighting ceremony that this year's games will be a message of hope in troubled times. Shine in Rio, brought to you by Atisalat.